I think just his demeanor. Um, you know, he, he treats you with respect, treats you like a man. Um, and he just, you know, he's a straight shooter. Um, and, you know, I think guys respect that. Um, you know, he never, you know, never yells, never berates you. Um, he just tells it to you straight. And um, I think he earns a lot of respect from guys because um, he does that. And I think that's why he gets the most of out of his players. Frankie was saying that he feels that he's never had a coach feel like so much of like one of the guys. Does it give you that feel? Yeah, definitely. Um, it, again, it's, it's part of his demeanor. He's just, he treats you like, you know, a counterpart. Um, you know, he doesn't, you don't feel as though he's your coach. He just feels like he's the guy leading the team. And, um, you know, I think you want to, you know, you want to go do good by him and, and play to the best of your ability for him because, um, I, I said it before, but it's just that respect thing. He, re he respects you, he treats you like a man. And, um, it's really a calming influence. Um, and, you know, you don't hold your stick too tight because you feel like you're going to get yelled at. He just gets the best out of his players, the most out of his players, and I think that's why he's had success at every level. You just said it, you know, about not squeezing the stick, but how much does that translate on the ice? When you guys were kind of going through a rough stretch here a couple weeks ago, having someone like that at the helm that's just like, hey, take a deep breath. Yeah, it's huge. I think that's what, you know, kind of changed, changed the tide a little bit. Um, you know, I think everyone was, you know, pissed off, tense after, you know, losing to Chicago. And um, the next day he came in and kind of, um, you know, told us to just loosen up. And, you know, when things go tight, everyone's, you know, always stressed about making the next mistake or, you know, don't want to be the next guy to screw up. And he kind of came in and just said, guys, you have to play loose. And, like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna play well when you, you know you're nervous to make a mistake, and um, you know I think since then we kind of turned it a little bit. Yeah, he's a, I think you know he's one of those modern younger coaches. He kind of changing the coaching game. I feel like because he's you know he feels like he's part of the crew, part of the team. He talks to everyone. He's asking for opinions of players, and uh, he really like you can really talk about anything with him which is kind of unusual I, th I feel like and also you know if, he, if the team tells him something like uh, that maybe you know we're a little tired we would maybe get a we would like to get a day off he's like he's always thinking about it and definitely taking different look on situations after the team you know kind of give him some message so I feel like that's kind of big difference in his game and I, I feel like you know he's a hard-working coach like he he's always prepared for every game like his meetings are uh, pretty long like he tells us a lot of information about every team we play against so I, I guess he's spending a lot of time preparing and watching videos so uh, definitely living a coach life so it's funny something you just said kind of ties in with something that JT was telling me that he said JT said that he thinks Jared is really kind of like an embodiment of the team in terms of like staying calm but having that kind of fire do you, does it sounds to me like you also think that he's kind of a like, I don't know a heartbeat of the team is that a good way to put it yeah I mean you know he feels like he's one of our one of our players so uh, also he has you know like a lot of uh, a lot of respect from everyone so uh, I think it kind of you know works well hand in hand that uh, you can also expect him to to be like making jokes and also when the business comes, he's 100% he's focused and he, this, he expects 100% from everyone from the team. Yeah. He uh, he stays pretty calm, you know, on the bench and things like that. But Naz was telling me last week the All Star game that he's like, no, he's not always that calm. How often does he uh, does he get after you guys and is it? I mean, it's tough tough to say from my perspective because I usually you know talk the most with UC our goalie coach. So. Mm -hmm. uh, and the game for players when they're going, you know, back and forth on the ice and back to the bench is kind of different, so I can really tell. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, he's a competitive guy and, um, you know, works very hard at, you know, for us and make sure that we're prepared every night to have the best chance to win. And obviously we have had success. Um, I think like our team, he's, you know, improved as his time just went along here as well. But just known to be always fair and, um, you know, just wants the best for each guy and for the team. So we always see him stay super calm and collected and stuff. But Naz was telling me last week at the All-Star game that 
he, he definitely isn't always super calm with you guys, kind of behind closed doors. One, how much does that calming on the bench help you guys? And two, how often does he kind of get after you guys in ways that maybe we don't see? I mean, yeah, I think his demeanor is similar to that of our team where we try not to get too high and too low and we're just focused on, you know, what we have to do next. And, um, you know, like any coach, there's days he's happy and days he's not happy with us. And, um, but overall, I think he does a good job of being fair and, um, you know, just wanting us to be the best that we can. It's not, never yelling just to yell. It's, um, you know, him wanting us to be the best that we can be. You mentioned like that, that he kind of is a reflection of the team. How much when he first got here did you guys have to like take a look at the culture and say we want to reset this and kind of lead it in this direction? Yeah, I think the guys that were here before me did a great job of, uh, you know, being focused on the process and, you know, it took years to build that in the right direction. And, um, it was on the ice, off the ice, the way we were preparing for games, the way we were prepared, you know, taking care of ourselves away from the ice. Um, I think it was all a culmination of, you know, the leadership, the leaders just wanting to win. And it's been easy for, I think, other guys to come in and see, you know, that's what we want and we'll do anything to do it. And um, it makes it easy for guys to, to come in the locker room and, and join in and, you know, jump in the boat with us. Yeah. For sure, he's been, uh, you know, an incredible coach, and I think he's helped all of us individually as well as you know. You've seen the growth of the team, and um, you know, there's a lot you could say about him as a, a person and a coach. Um, he's able to get the most out of his players. His uh, hockey IQ is, is through the roof, obviously, with his adjustments and pre-scouts and everything. So, uh, you know, he's obviously deserves all the success he's had. A couple of guys yesterday were saying that he really does kind of just feel like one of the boys, and not so much, you know, the coach, but more just like the leader. Is that kind of how you see it as well? Absolutely, no. I think he uh, does a good job of forming personal relationships with all the players. I think that's critical in today's day and age. Um, and he does a really good job of that, relating to guys on a personal level. And, you know, therefore is able to get the most out of those guys on the ice as well. Yeah, he's uh, easy going, um, which is nice. So seven or eight years with uh, the same coach probably could get tiring. But with him, it's, it's uh, you know, he's not in your face. It's, it's good, I think. Um, He's, he's very smart, he has our respect, and he respects all of us, which is great. Um, I don't know what his milestone is, but it's obviously well deserved. Like you said, over that time, it could be maybe hard for the players to keep from tuning him out. How do you think he's done a good job of navigating that? Just because he's a good guy. I mean, that's really, all, that's really it. Um, if he was painful or annoying, uh, you know, who knows, right? But it's, uh, it's easy. It's, like I said, he actually... We'll talk about you with the other things and just the neutrals on four check. So uh, it's nice that he actually has a personality. And he's a good person. I guess he respects all of us, and uh, he definitely has our respect. Um, yeah, I think he knows when to push the buttons, uh, when to be hard on us, when to be positive. Um, you know, I think it's it's easier. He get, he's getting to know us. He knows how we uh, like to treat everyone in the locker room and how he treats everybody. So. There's definitely chemistry to be built with your coach, I think, that takes time. Um, but yeah, I mean, we obviously have better teams than he did that first couple of years too, which helps all of us. So um, yeah, I think he, you know, he's learned a lot and he's always trying to get better.